there, uh, everyone. Uh, this is a, a video that uh, uh, illustrates some basic muscle strengthening exercises using uh, rubber tubing. Um, and this is sort of a general program uh, for the major muscle groups of the body. Uh, this program can be done daily, uh, or I would say at least two to three times a week uh, to get optimal benefit from muscle strengthening. Uh, each exercise uh, is usually performed 10 to 15 repetitions, uh, two sets. And um, we're going to go over a little bit about the rubber bands. Rubber band uh, exercises can be done with a variety of pieces of equipment. This is kind of a homemade band. It uses just surgical tubing with a couple of handles on the end. So this is a very inexpensive uh, form of uh, a rubber band. Uh, this is a little bit, a uh, little bit fancier one, kind of pre pre-made band. Uh, these are available all over right now. Uh, uh, Kmart, uh, Target, the Walmart, places like that in the sporting goods section. Very inexpensive. They come in different colors, typically different colors denote different amounts of resistance. Uh, typically, again, if you're starting off or you have a, a condition where you're starting from a, uh, a very basic level, you want very light resistance to begin with. And this one here is an adjustable uh, band. These are available in sporting goods stores like Dick's Sporting Goods. Different colors, again, denote different amounts of resistance. This one has bands that, that slide in and out of the uh, handles, and you can vary the resistance depending on which exercise you're doing. You want to have enough resistance that it feels somewhat difficult to finish the set. So that's the different sorts of uh, rubber band products that are available. We're going to go ahead into the program now and demonstrate kind of a, a head-to-toe uh, uh, program of muscle strengthening exercises and just kind of start right into it. Uh, some of these exercises can be done standing, some can be done sitting. Obviously, if you have balance issues or uh, injuries to your legs or standing is, is a, a, a concern, then you would do the chair versions of these exercises. So I'm going to demonstrate both versions for you. The first one here is a chest press uh, uh, exercise or bench press type of motion. Uh, so basically, uh, if you're going to do a sitting position, obviously you need a chair and then a post or a piece of furniture or something to wrap the tubing around is about all you need. This first one here is a chest press, so the band would be uh, slightly below shoulder level. Be sitting in the chair. And basically this first exercise, again, good posture to begin with. And what we're trying to do is to push the band straight out, hold, and then back nice and slow. This is the first exercise. Uh, making sure that we're not shrugging the shoulders up, the head doesn't poke forward, the back isn't slouched, and everything's locked in and nice and straight. We're working 10 to 15 repetitions of chest press. This is number one. The chest press motion could be done standing. Standing is probably a little more beneficial. Uh, it engages, of course, the legs, the core a little bit more. There's some effect on uh, 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 bone density and so forth with exercises that are done standing. So this would be the standing version of the exercise. Chest press, just like so. This is exercise number one, chest press. Number two is a uh, rowing uh, exercise. And again, this could be done sitting. If standing is an issue for you, uh, then obviously you would do it sitting. And the rowing exercise basically is done by pulling back towards your rib area, making sure with this one we don't shrug the shoulders up, shoulders stay down, nice good posture. You can even add a little extension motion to this, very good for the mid-back area, uh, correcting uh, excessive uh, uh, forward flexion of the, of the mid-back area. This is working uh, the lat muscles and also the biceps. Standing version of this exercise. Same sort of idea, pulling back, just like so. This is called the standing row exercise, a rowing motion. And this is exercise number two. Exercise number three is for the shoulders. Again, could be done standing. How you do it is to put it under uh, one foot typically, and basically you're raising up to about uh, shoulder level. This is a standing lateral fly. It's used to strengthen the shoulder muscles. If you have pain with it, sometimes varying the position of your arms, such as thumb up, or varying the direction that you go straight to the side versus slightly to the front, you're basically trying to find a, a position that is, is most comfortable for you. This would be the standing version. And the sitting version is pretty much the same. To shorten this up for sitting exercises, sometimes taking a, a turn or two around your foot is just a way to shorten the band. Again, making sure we're in good posture. This is lateral raise in sitting. With all these exercises, we're trying to emphasize good controlled movement. Same speed on the way up, same speed on the way down. Maintaining good posture, drawing in the abdominal muscles a little bit. Back is straight, shoulders are level, head is not poked forward. This is lateral raise, and it's for the shoulder muscles. Next exercise we'd like to show is uh, the uh, overhead press. This is, again, another shoulder exercise. And this one uh, basically is starting from this position. We're trying to push the band up overhead. This would be the standing version. 
Yeah. Uh, most common mistake of this one is to let the, the back sort of arch forward. We want to keep the abdominal muscles drawn in, head uh, in good position. And of course, the sitting version is the same idea. Again, to shorten the band a little bit in sitting, you would wrap it around the foot. Nice straight position. Overhead press. And that's uh, the uh, press motion, and that's again used for the uh, uh, shoulder muscles primarily. Next is for the biceps. So I'm going to turn sideways. This is kind of showing you this one. This is a biceps curl. It can be done under one foot, or some people like to put it under both feet. Puts a little more tension on the band. So again, you want to use enough resistance that it feels uh, you know, challenging to you to finish the set. Remember, we're working on uh, repetitions, 10 to 15 repetitions per set, one to two sets. This is biceps curl. Some people like to do this for a variety, alternating biceps curl, that's fine as well. And then a sitting version, of course. Same idea, wrapped around the foot. And we're working on biceps curl, just like so. And again, some of these exercises, you may have to shorten it even more to get the challenge. So that the shorter you make the band, the more resistance. So this is going to be more resistance still. Biceps curl, making sure in good posture. Back stays straight, shoulders level. That's the biceps exercise. Okay, the triceps exercise uh, can be done sitting or standing. Uh, once again, we're going to use our post to wrap the tubing around. And this exercise has a few, few variations, but basically you're trying to position the band behind you. And this exercise is done by straightening the elbows. This is triceps extension. Some people like to kind of keep one locked out and do single arm, alternating triceps extension, that's fine. And again, the exercise could be done standing. Probably some advantage to doing it standing. Again, engaging the legs, engaging the core, some advantages for uh, bone density and so forth. So again, keep it nice and tall and straight. This is uh, two arms together, triceps extension, elbows stay po pointed forward, making sure the shoulders stay down and back, abdominal muscles stay a little bit engaged. We're in good straight posture. This would be the single arm version. So we got to get just for some variety, doesn't matter too much. And that is triceps extension. Okay, we can start to work a little bit of uh, exercise for the core muscles. This first one is for the abdominal muscles. This one is done sitting pretty much exclusively. And again, we're taking this one behind us. And the, uh, the band stays kind of uh, planted down on your shoulders. Back is nice and tall. You're basically trying to curl forward slightly and then uncurl slowly. So notice my low back does not move too much. I'm not bending completely forward. I'm just bending the upper part of the back forward, curling down, contracting the abdominal muscles, and coming back up nice and slow with control. And this is, again, done for 10 to 15 repetitions. These are all the same, slow with control. That's for the abdominal muscles. And next, we'd like to continue on. Uh, trunk extension exercise is for the lower back muscles. And here what we're trying to do is to sort of plant the, the cords uh, against the, uh, the chest. Uh, sometimes it feels kind of good to crisscross and then kind of leave them planted against the chest. And what you're trying to do here is to extend your trunk backwards and then back to neutral. So notice everything from my low back on down stays neutral against the upper back, moving back and back to neutral. Maintaining good posture, so not starting from a slump position, nice and straight to begin with. A little bit of extension and slowly back to the starting position. So this is uh, trunk extension. It's used to strengthen the lower back muscles, 10 to 15 repetitions. And we're moving down the body. Next is an exercise for the calf muscles. Some people call this a calf press. Could be done uh, uh, one uh, leg at a time or, uh, or uh, both legs at the same time. Maybe I'll try one, one leg at a time here. So we're trying to draw in a little bit of tension. And uh, incidentally, the round cords don't work quite as well on shoes here. Basically, we're trying to work on uh, working uh, into uh, the uh, calf muscle. I think I'm going to use the handle. And we're working on the calf press. This is used to exercise the calf muscle, just like so. That's calf uh, press. And again, uh, the, the cords don't work as well on the bottom of the feet as a flat band does. Okay, hip abduction. So strengthening the hip muscle is very important for balance, also for uh, daily functional tasks. A couple ways this could be done. Um, you can actually attach one end of this to the leg, but a little simpler version is just to kind of loop it around one foot. You're holding on for balance and basically moving the leg out sideways. 
sometimes you can take the other end and plant it under the other foot. And here you work it again against a little bit of resistance. This is a very simple way to do it. If you do the other leg, again, you're standing on one leg, pushing out sideways. This is hip abduction. So, and again, if standing and balance is an issue for you, uh, the exercise could be done uh, sitting in the chair. This is uh, hip abduction, strengthening the outside hip muscles. One leg is planted as the post, the other leg is exercising. Keep it up nice and tall. And use the strength in the outside hip muscles, very important for uh, preventing uh, uh, hip injuries and, uh, and balance in daily tasks. And the last thing we want to cover today is, is, is a mini squat. And this is something that can be done again for leg and hip muscle strengthening. Uh, this would be a little bit more of an advanced exercise. We're starting about a shoulder width. And here we're going to sort of plant the bands just kind of on the shoulders like so. The mini squat is done by coming down, imagining that you're sitting back onto a chair. So the butt goes back, knees bend, back stays nice and tall. Again, if it, your knees hurt, sometimes going down uh, not quite as far is a, is a great way to, uh, to start this exercise. And sometimes even planting this against your hips is a little bit easier way to start. This takes away a lot of the resistance. So if, if on the shoulders it feels too much, they can be planted on the hips. And that's called the mini squat exercise. And that uh, completes the, uh, the program. Again, uh, making sure we're not working through any sort of uh, pain or problems. If you have pain and difficulty, stop the exercise. You seek professional advice. Um, and these are all intended to be done two to three times a week, uh, uh, one to two sets of 10 to 15 repetitions per exercise. I hope you enjoyed this. and thank Take you. it from me, Bill Hillgrove. It's the best care, hands down.